Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, but today we are going to be going through the update 1.0.5. So, lots of new things added and a few uh, features, so we are going to start out with something I was playing around with, the new uh, jet engine, which, where is it? There we go. The Goliath turbofan. So these things are so powerful that I have created a design that will hoist up a rocket, making it very fuel efficient. <laughs> um, I will show you guys this. So obviously you need quite a bit more for anything very large but for a small rocket especially a 1.25 meter rocket this thing could lift it all the way up the atmosphere with ease and then you just have to burn a little bit of fuel to get into orbit so we uh, turn on the engines and let them heat up a bit so they can get to their maximum thrust and then once it's at its maximum thrust, which is around here-ish, we let the clams go, and it's actually dragging this entire thing up. They're working off of these tiny little fuel tanks, using barely any fuel, and we can go pretty high just off of these. Make it through the atmosphere. Speed up time a little bit. As you can see, I don't really have steering on this, so it gets a little bit wobbly after a while. But, that's when we detach that. We can turn on our liquid fuel. And then go the rest of the way. So, <laughs> this is a bit too big to control too. But, that is just an example of those really big uh, boosters which are pretty interesting now we also have a few other new things which we're going to have to leave this and go into the planes area the space planes so um we have if we can find my what did I call it? What did I call that? There is my ridiculously large plane. Where is my ridiculously small plane? I hope I saved it. Ah, that was a joke after my a friend my friend showed me electronic supersonic so this thing can go supersonic very quickly and you may see these new ones here look at these the Juno basic jet engine these things are tiny allowing for very small things to be built but also very fuel efficient we have these tiny new fuel tanks which allow you to make really really small planes but we'll just show off these And so this thing is staged so that it can lift off relatively easy as a small plane, but I will show that the Junos can actually do enough to keep this thing in air itself. This thing is of course meant to be supersonic though, so it takes a bit more than these to get it to that point. So once we get to a respectable speed with just the Junos, we are going to throw on the Whiplash is around once we hit 60 around now and now we are in the air I waited a bit too long to do that that was almost bad but now we are in the air very going very fast um, gaining speed very quickly too we do not have SAS on, let's fix that. So yeah, look at that. And now once we turn this off, we obviously won't be gaining speed. 
But these Juno engines do pack a bit of a punch. They can keep this thing going. Of course, this whiplash engine does make it quite a bit faster. But that's not the point. These things can keep you going with relatively no fuel use for very long periods of time. And then once you get to a spot where you want to start going fast, you just activate your secondary engine, speed yourself up, and gain that altitude back. So, that was what I built with those. And, um, let's get on to more things we can do with this stuff. Oh, you know what? We can do this right now. So, a feature that was recently added was, uh, well, everyone knows, in Kerbal Space Program, landing in the ocean is not an option for planes. When you landed in the ocean, it meant that you had made a terrible mistake because you were certain to die. You just were. Water is, were, was, deadly. But now, that has been kind of fixed, um... And I will demonstrate that as long as you aren't going too quickly. So we're going to throw on these air uh, brakes. As long as you aren't going too quickly and you're relatively flat to the water, you can land pretty easily on the water. So we're going to raise our steering. I mean, uh, landing gear so that those don't rip off in the process but we're going to slow down these engines and brace for impact so as long as we keep ourselves pretty flat we will slow down because of these air brakes and we are slowing down and any moment now so we're gonna pull up to get rid of some of that downward velocity. I went a bit too fast there, but you can see that the cockpit did survive, which would not have to happen normally. You can also move around in the water, uh, water without being afraid of dying, and you're actually able to uh, lift off again from the water. You can move through it and then take off. So it really brings a new um, idea to the game. You can successfully make boats that won't explode when you try to move them. So, let's go to cooler things. Okay, so take three. We have made it so that we can actually control this little plane thing. And now I will be demonstrating how this works and what's so cool about this, which is pretty obvious already. Look how small that plane is. We can just get out of here, and let's go. We can do it, Magina, Magena. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. So we're going to board. Now we're going to split it off. Now we're going to stay controlling this. So we're going to quickly go to the space center. Find her, and she's one of these. Here we go, and we're going to fly this. Go ahead and turn on the engine carefully. Make it so that we can use these RCS thrusters. Ooh, what was that? That didn't sound very good. Something broke but it doesn't seem to be anything too important. That was something important. Ha! <laughs> I mean, it's cool enough, just like this. Wait a moment. In docking mode, is it... It just seems so light. I feel like we could just kind of... How do I do this? In RCS... In docking mode, what are the buttons to do this?
that's a thing. <laughs> uh, that's from a mod. Oh, so that's to go up, so yeah, we can't. But we can actually, um, go forwards using this. Gain a bit of speed. Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay, so let's retry this. Oh, it's going to forget <laughs> about what just happened. So that'll let us go back again, I think. To back when everything was back here. Yes! So let's try this again. We'll be a bit more careful this time. We go very slowly. Okay, so there's that. Now we're just going to go very, very, s actually we're going to use the RCS to get us off of here. What was the button? There we go. And we're just going to slowly push ourselves off of here. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, like dropping it off with the person on it off of a bigger plane, but just want to show that this is usable with a single person. may not be super practical and I don't know why you do it, but if you just want to fly around with a single guy, you know, come on, we can get free. There we go. And we're just going to push ourselves forward a tiny bit more. Oh. I guess there is a... Oh, it's his headlights! <laughs> that's awesome! Okay, so, um, that's actually amazing. And we are just going to try to go for it a tiny bit more. I wish I could get rid of this. That's kind of annoying. It decoupled from the wrong side. Okay, and it's about to fall off. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's a problem that thing there. But let's start up the engine. Turn around. that we can use the runway. And here we go, on the runway, gaining some speed. Beautiful! Look at that! That may be one of the coolest things I have made in Kerbal Space Program. Look at that thing! It's so small it can be steered using RCS. Its maneuverability isn't even that bad. Probably because it's so small. We're going so fast. This this is pretty amazing. Um I hope this shows off how awesome this little engine is. You can really do some new things that you wouldn't have even thought of before this. So let's let's try to land this. I know I have no landing equipment. Well, I do have wheels, but I have no way to slow this thing down. But I have a bit of an idea on how we'll do it, and it's the same way we got ourselves right up. RCS. So, that's to go up. What is it to go back? There we go. And it is actually slowing us down. <laughs> oh, we're out of RCS. Oh, and we did it! We land. <laughs> oh my. There went the bottom part there. We did it! That is amazing. That is officially the coolest thing I've built in Kerbal Space Program. And we can start it off again. Oh. 
trying to stop this here. It's going to slowly slow down on its own. Oh man, this is just perfect. Let's get a real picture of this. Okay, so let's see if it'll lift off again. This this doesn't seem to ever go down on the actual ground. And lift off again. Lift off at only 50 meters per second. This thing is ridiculous. So yeah, now that this update has come out, uh, throw everything you knew about Kerbal Space Program planes. We can get uh, really big now and really small, land in the water. I am overall very happy and uh, so is Magina. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to have a lot of fun designing new things with this, but this may be one of the coolest updates <laughs> just because you can do stuff like this. So we're just going to turn a bit and... Oh! Yeah, I think I, I, I've i messed that up. I think I can pull up before it's too late. Pull up! Pull up! Ooh! Oh, that luck. Yeah, not going to get so lucky this time. Ooh! We did it! We were lucky this- Oh! Turn off that engine. Turn off that engine. Oh. <laughs> we survive. Oh god, her leg! Her leg! Oh no! <laughs> no, her leg! Quickly, get her out of there! No! <laughs> Oh god. Her leg is like sh Oh boy. That that's that's not good. That her leg is um th there's a metal pole going through her ankle and uh her leg is like half ripped off. So we're just going to leave her here. Guys, thank you for watching this and seeing what we can do with this update. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, then you were dead to me.